Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can set something on fire in Unity using the Unity Particle system. So let's get started. But before proceeding, do check out my Udemy course on particle systems. If you are a beginner who wants to learn particle systems, this course is perfect for you. It will take you from a beginner to intermediate level in particle systems. You don't have to learn any external software to create these amazing effects. Every effect is made using Unity's particle system. By the end of this course, you will be confident enough to make amazing visuals for your games. The link is in the description below. First of all, we will create a new 3D object. Let's suppose a sphere or maybe a cube. And uh, we set its transform. Okay, we can so that we can also see it in game view. Okay, looks good. Move it a little bit below on the ZX on the Y axis and here. Now what we have to do is we can rename it to object on fire. Now we can create a new effect and rename it to particle system and rename it to fire underscore particle system set its position to zero zero and zero. Okay. Let's zoom out our camera a little bit, maybe minus 10 or minus 8. Okay. Raise it on Y axis. Okay. Back to our fire particle system. So what we have to do is set the max particle size to 3. Okay. Then X rotation should be at minus 90. Now, first of all, we need a texture that I have from Google. And I'm porting into my project, create a new material and rename it to flame underscore mat. Set its shader to legacy shaders, particles. Set it editor for now. We'll see if it looks good or not. Drag and drop it to this one. Okay. Now what we have to do is set the start speed to one and start rotation to 60 and uh, start color will be brown like this okay let's set the emission to 10 if it is not set to 10 for me it's set shape is gone and angle should be 0 and radius should be this one okay 0.1 set size over lifetime to something like this maybe this and then we have rotation over lifetime to random between two constants and the values are minus 60 and plus 60 and then change the lifetime to 4 3 5 is good let's increase the start speed to random between two constants 1 and 3 2 1 and 2 1 and 1.5 okay let's reduce the opacity to 50 percent and that's it and set its position to zero and uh, let's increase the size of our radius maybe 0 0.5 and uh, okay so it's coming behind the cube so maybe we should increase the radius to one what we can do is increase the size a bit a little bit 1.5 is good increase the lifetime to 10 and start speed to 1. this one so this is how you put something on fire in unity i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos we will see you in a new video goodbye